Hey everyone and welcome back. So we are here today because we've just got a semi-surprise in the world announcement yesterday. I mean, we knew something was going to happen in April. We just weren't sure what. Most people were hoping for a full Nintendo Direct. Uh, hopefully, you know, with finally some kind of big announcement for the future of Nintendo. But um, we're getting an indie world. 20 minutes of indie games. Of course, everyone is like, Silk Song, Silk Song, Silk Song. Very possible. There's been a lot of chatter around Silk Song over the last like month or so on different platforms. So for once, I may be slightly more optimistic that it could happen. But Gamescom is right around the corner, and I'm feeling like it might be big enough for a Gamescom announcement, even though Nintendo is not there. It just might get announced in general on all platforms. You know what I mean? They might be able to fit themselves into a showcase, like a Microsoft showcase or something like that. Um, I don't know. We'll see. But yes, I'm hopeful that we'll at least get some, a few tidbits of excitement for the coming months. Because honestly, the last couple of weeks, it's been pretty freaking dry. I'd be super surprised, Grovel, because this is an indie world. Uh, I'd be super surprised that they would mention anything about a Switch 2 announcement. Like, I... I, I I wouldn't like I don't think they would have publicized this as a indie world. But yeah. Good morning to everyone out there. Yes. Now let me just I just want to check something. I'm gonna just check my other viewpoint. I do want to make sure that my audio is gonna be okay when it starts. So we're gonna we're gonna flip it up like I have it set up so that when we're watching we we flip it to like like this. I just need to see what my what my audio is like. Okay, we've got this here, we've got this here. Okay. I think we're going to be good. I do think we are going to be good for the audio. Okay. But yeah, I am really, really hoping that we at least get some exciting information because I need some excitement right now. I need something to look forward to. Like we've got Luigi's Mansion, we've got Thousand Year Door, and although I, I, I can't wait to play those games again, they are games we've played before, like on previous consoles. So it's not as exciting as something brand, brand new to look forward to. So I'm hoping that we'll get at least, I would say like two to three really solid indie announcements, followed by like another two or three like, okay, this is fun type of announcements. Like if I get like three solid indie games that I can be super excited for, um, I will definitely be excited. Honestly, they haven't done live Grovel to my knowledge in a long time. Like even when they say it's live, it is, it's pre-recorded and they just stream like a video, okay? So I, I don't see them... I can't remember the last time that it's actually been like actually live because they, they do film it ahead of time. And like, I could stream something that I recorded. You know what I mean? Like I could rather than have my camera here, I could just feed like a odd, a video file to the streaming, my stream deck and play it. And that's sort of what they do. So even when it says live, there's no one actually there. They're just like basically streaming a pre-recorded um, video nonetheless, nonetheless. But yeah, so obviously everyone is here hoping for Silk Song. I do know that that is like number one. If that does happen, I might for one of the first times on camera lose my shit because I am really, really looking forward to that game. Um, that would be like... Besides a Switch 2 announcement, that would be probably top of my list. I I get it, and that's why I do it live, and I don't I don't look at spoilers. So, um, you know, if anyone is skipping ahead, 
in the chat, I'm going to ask, don't post what you're seeing ahead of time. I want to see it when it when I see it. Uh, but other than that, I mean, yeah, it, that happens. Yes, they can skip ahead and, and see what's going or you can play it in like two times speed. So you get through most of it like really, really quickly. But that's not exactly what I want to do. And hopefully I might post a reaction video after, like actually edit together my thoughts on what we see. If there's enough excitement, I'll be honest, if it's like all like C tier stuff, most likely I'm going to skip this one. But that is something I want to do when I stream these things is after I want to go back and do like a edited form video for people that want to get everything within like five to seven minutes rather than watch the 20 minutes. So I do think hopefully I'll be able to do something like that after. But I am super like, honestly, like I said, we need some excitement right now. I feel it's it's a super lull. Even deals on the eShop are really quiet. But this might explain why, because often um, right after something like an indie world, uh, at noon Eastern time, you get a mega drop of deals on the eShop. So if that happens, I'm most likely going to try and do a special eShop deals video for tomorrow where we'll be covering the indie world deals if that does happen. But it happens a lot. It happens a lot. Like there's often a correlation between this thing. And it does explain why maybe the eShop has been quiet for the last week or two in the in the deal in the deal part because most like indie developers when they know an indie world is happening they calibrate their deals to sort of end and start uh at the after the indie world events so like the week coming up to it no one's putting out deals because everyone scheduled their deal to go live like after the indie world so there's a good chance that we might get some deal drops after this as well so hopefully it's gonna be like i'll I'm going to try to do my best. It's going to maybe be a busy 24 hours here. And I need to get back into the beat of things. Like I'm still renovating the studio. I have to go pick up some stuff for the studio before I start work at noon. <laughs> I finish at 8 p.m. my time tonight. So if I do have to put out those two pieces of content, it will be a very late night tonight. Um... But I do have to go pick up the stuff for the studio before I start work. So I have like a one in one hour, 15 minute window where I have to like run to the stores. But other than that, I've been chatting away. How's everyone doing out there? What is there anyone that's been hoping for something other than Silk Song? Like Silk Song, I know it's there, but I want to hear from all of you in the chat. Let me know. Other than Silk Song, what are you guys like? Is there anything you guys are excited for that you've seen here and there and that you want to get? Maybe we'll get a release date on G.I. Joe. We might get a release date on the G.I. Joe game because that is exclusive to Steam and the Switch. For the moment, they haven't announced any other platforms than Steam and Switch. So G.I. Joe could be an announcement in here. I'm also excited to see if we're going to get a Shadow Drop or two. If the Shadow Drop is big enough... Maybe like instead of deals and that, we might actually stream it tonight. Yes, I did see that GameStop has a buy two, a get one free sale on used games. Uh, it is US only. However, I checked uh, GameStop Canada. It's not rolling on GameStop Canada unless they announced it after that. I checked this morning, but generally they update the website at 4 a.m. So if it was there, we'd know. But I'm just checking right now. Because uh, that that's a little rougher for me to use, like, the, the buy to get one free at GameStop stuff, like, personally. Obviously, I'll throw down a mention. If we do do this special deals video, since we're, like, lined up, I will drop a mention in the video. Uh, which is something, like I said, I've been trying to do more often. I haven't done it in the last couple of videos because, like I said, physical physical media has been a little bit like deadish lately. But I will, I I have tried to drop more often, like little physical deals here and there throughout the deals. I was doing a lot with Play Asia. I'm gonna get back into that because actually there's a couple of Play Asia things that are worth picking up right now. Like Monster Hunter Stories One is like twenty bucks. 
You can get 20 bucks for Monster Story, uh, Mon Monster Hunter Stories 1, the Japanese version that has English without having to rebuy Monster Hunter Stories 2, which is what I'm doing instead of buying the uh, physical here from North America, which you're going to which is going to be like a double pack with a download code for Monster Hunter Stories 2, which is almost completely useless if you already have Monster Hunter Stories 2 physically. Um, but like, I'm going to try to throw in a little more, a, a few more deals like that. Um, hopefully one day I'll have the time and, 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 you know, there will, the, the, with the switch to dropping, there'll be enough deals on physical media where we'll be able to get a separate physical video going right now. It's just not worth it. It would be, it, it would show up too randomly. So I'm popping it into the deals. By the way, guys, if you're here and you do want to help out a bit, hit that like button. It's going to help the stream get sent out to a few more people. The more, we're, the more we are here, the more fun we are going to have when the actual indie world starts. And as you can see, we're monitoring it down below in the right-hand corner for you guys. Yeah, right-hand corner. Um, so when we see that flip over and go live... We will be slip, flipping views, and I'll be a small. I'll be in the small cent, uh, small corner, and the indie world will be right front and center. So, yeah. Other than that, guys, I'm 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 still waiting for some answers in the chat. What do you guys want to see other than Silk Song? I talked about GI Joe. Um, what other games? Have you heard about, have you seen maybe on, on Twitter, on other platforms that maybe I haven't seen that you've seen like sort of, you know, secretly around that you think might be announced today? Pizza Tower. That's a good one. Yes, I would like Pizza Tower to be on the Switch. You are totally right, Martin. Because I have it on the Steam Deck, but I would love to have it on the Switch and play through it. I haven't played through it because it's on my Steam Deck. Which I'm loving my Steam Deck, but I'm sort of more playing the AAA games than the than the AAA games that I missed out on than um, the um, than the actual games like uh, indie games that I could be playing on the Switch. So I generally, if I'm indie gaming, I'll be doing so on the Switch. Um, but yeah, so Pizza Tower that is a good one. Yeah, I'm hoping for some shadow drops too. Like I said, if we get a really, really good shadow drop, we might do a late stream tonight. But at the same time, like I said, it's like jumbling in my head because since I have to work 12 to to, uh, to 8, it's like all jumbled together. And on top of it, it's a baby Maple's birthday today. My youngest daughter's birthday is today. So obviously, um, when we're going to... When this is the when you know when I'm done work at eight, I'm I am gonna have to spend some time with her. Um, turn up boy sequels. I would like to see a turn up because the the turn up boy sequel we got was okay, but it was a totally different genre. I just want an extended turn up boy commits tax evasion. Like I just want an I just want another Zelda like turn up boy. Uh, it was so good. It was so funny. Um, I just want like another one that lasts like six or seven hours. Like I'm not asking for like a 15 to 20 hour, like, you know, full Zelda like game, but if they can come up with the same humor and quality for a good six to seven hours, like doubling the time of the original, well, tripling the time of the original turn up boy game, then I would really like it would make that game so much more appealing to a lot of people out there. I still love Turnip Boy Commits Tax Evasion. It's actually one of my favorite, like, mini Zelda likes. I have it physically twice, I think, because I bought it twice by mistake. Um, but yeah. See, Mega Man Wild One, I don't think it would show up in an in indie world. So I have super, super... I'm, I'm on the same page as you. I would love a new Mega Man. I just don't see Capcom being in an indie world because they're too much of a big developer to be in an indie world. In my opinion, they would be more in a Nintendo direct 
or a partner showcase, in my opinion. That that's where that's where it would show up. So awesome idea. And it, it's so funny because I see people like I'm looking at the chat from the indie world at the same time, and I see so many people like going like uh, uh, you know, Donkey Kong Country uh, and uh, Yoshi's Island Three. It's an indie direct. It's get, we're not get, we're most likely getting zero first party titles. Like if it's any Nintendo property, it's most likely not showing up here whatsoever. Hold on, I'm just putting us live because I hit the space bar by mistake and paused. The video could you imagine it starts and we don't see it because i paused the video yeah no don't worry i get i get you uh if you have not played berserk boy however although it has a it, although it has a, a a very distinct style it will definitely fill in a Mega Man gap right now like it definitely if you're a longtime Mega Man fan, Berserk Boy is going to fill an extremely big Mega Man gap. And it, it it it's a really good game and it's a really good twist on the Mega Man type gameplay, which almost mixes in like Sonic the Hedgehog type movement. Like it is it is very satisfying, and I would put it like at a medium difficulty level, where I would say it's easier than than let's say uh an average Mega Man, it's it's a little bit easier than an average Mega Man, but at the same time, it's not an overall easy game. It's a it's like a mid difficulty one, so it's actually really fun, and it's it's a little it gets a little wild on the movement side eventually, and it's um. What's important, however, it's a little bit short, but you have to go for the real ending because there's like a the game. Almost, it, it pretends like it ends, but it doesn't really end. There's another person you can talk to who will give you like a side mission, and then you'll get the actual real ending to the game. Another tactics game after playing Unicorn Overlord. Like, I don't get why we didn't get an actual Final Fantasy tactics. Uh, once again, though, I think Square Enix would be in a partner showcase, not an indie world, but... I've, I've never understood why we didn't get the Tactics Advance games on the Switch. The second one, since it was on the DS, could be a little harder because of the dual screen thing. But at least the first Tactics game, the one from the Game Boy Advance, not sure why we didn't get that on the Switch. That would be like, for Square Enix, a easy dump. And uh, it would be like, I'm pretty sure it would sell. I'm pretty sure enough people would be picking it up. You know, you like port it over, you drop it for 15 bucks and people will buy it up. Of course, knowing Square Enix, they would drop it for 30 bucks. But, you know, I'm, I we, we can always dream. And even 15 for me feels a little expensive for a single port of a Game Boy Advance game. But at the same time, you know, it's Square Enix. So we have to they have to make some money somewhere. They would charge 60 if they for one no for the dual pack maybe like let's say they would get advanced 2 working on the switch and they would do a pack of advanced and advanced 2 they would charge 60 but i could argue with those two games together because of the hours of gameplay you have it's maybe not that bad of a deal if they if they if they spruce it up you know hd remasters um i wouldn't want them to remake just just remaster and obviously adapt Advance 2 to work on a single screen. That would, uh, that I would be very, very happy with that, actually. Maybe we'll see something from Mouse, uh, or uh, is it not an indie production? Uh, are you talking about Mickey Mouse? No, you, hold on. I'm probably not picky. Mouse, I'm trying to think. I'd have to I'd have to look it up because unless you're talking about the, the Mickey Mouse like the Epic Mickey games and stuff that's coming, I'm not. Um, I'm not, it doesn't ring a bell currently. Hey to Gade, hey Nanaki. By the way, hi to everyone. I will try to go through the chat and say hi to all the regulars and even people who's dropped a comment that are not regulars. So hey Grovel, Martin, uh, Wild One, Nanaki. 
uh, to Gade. Wow, man. A lot of you guys are showed up. I'm, I'm, I'm a little surprised that we have that many of the regular crew here this morning. I wasn't expecting that at like... <laughs> 9 30 a.m eastern and if some of you are in on like west like western time west coast time you guys are like it's like 6 52 a.m man that's that's pretty freaking crazy mountain time or or um yeah i think it's mountain time in the middle it's 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 like 7 7 52 a.m not not like it's still early but it's not that bad hey rob how you doing Uh, you usually you lurk usually, and I'm lucky now because you're yeah, while working. Nice, glad to provide some working entertainment. <laughs> Six a.m. every day. Yeah, I I wake up at like seven a.m. So like for me, this is like obviously it's early for streaming, but I've already been up for like two and a half hours, three hours. Central time for the win, definitely. Central time uh, is that one or two hours behind me. So are you? 8.53 or are you 7.53? I'm uh, always mixed up between Central Mountain and all that time. Time zones. We, ha we have too many time zones in the same country. It just doesn't make sense. <laughs> well, it makes sense, but it doesn't at the same time. 8.53? Okay, yeah, so Central's one hour behind. Okay. Yeah, that's pretty that's pretty good. Like it's a good it's a good medium. Like me I'm going to be a little a little rushed after this. Because like I said it, it it's going to probably end around 10:30ish. Uh we're going to stick around chat at least for a good 10-15 minutes, so I'm like aiming at 10:45ish. Uh we're going to be able I'm going to be able to go offline and then I have like an hour 15 minutes before I start work, so I'm going to have to I'm going to have to book it because, like I said, I have to stop by Best Buy, pick up some stuff for the studio. Just trying to make things more efficient. And um, then I'm going to have to, unfortunately, work my normal job. Ugh. Yuck. Normal jobs suck. <laughs> I, yeah. No, nah, but it, it's all good. It's not that bad. Um, finishing at 8 tonight. And then, like, it's going to be birthday time plus, like... But we're actually celebrating her birthday for real on the weekend, so we're not going to do something big. But, you know, I have to spend some time with her. I can't exactly be like, hey, oh, nice, my order is ready for pickup. So at least when I'm going to get there, when I leave at Best Buy, everything is ready for pickup. So I'm going to show up and I'm going to be like, give me my stuff. And I can get the heck out of there. And I need to stop one other quick stop before that, but that should be like a five minute stop. So it's going to be a little rush, but we're going to, we're, we're going to make it work. We're going to get there. Whew. Five minutes away. ETA, five minutes. We're almost there, guys. We are going to see. And by the way, guys, it does welcome all my non-binary female watchers, whatever, I just use guys as my go-to statement. So please, no one take offense with that. <laughs> I just can't help my speech patterns. It's it's guys. It's always been guys. Even my daughters, I say, hey guys, let's 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 get to it. So and I have four girls. So they've gotten used to it. <laughs> oh man. If we do get Silk Song today. You know it's going to be like that one last thing at the end. I, I can't see it being anything else. Either they open with it and people lose their fucking minds. Sorry, I used to try not to swear too much. But you lose their freaking minds. But I don't think they do that because I think it would mute so hard everything else that basically for all the other indie developers, it would be like unfair. Because basically all the chat would be for like the whole 20 minutes would be Silk Song, Silk Song, Silk Song. And basically all the other games would like be muted. Be prepared not to see Silk Song. I, and like I said, Wild One, I, I am slightly hopeful, but at the same time, realistically, I think Silk Song is big enough where it would be in something bigger than just an indie world. I feel like I said it might be a Gamescom announcement. And 
we might get it might have like a general announcement in a showcase coming to all consoles you know what i mean because it's gonna probably have a similar release time on uh, switch xbox and playstation so i do feel like they're big enough now and there's been enough hype and wait for silk song that they could slip it into like an announcement at gamescom next month so that is you know that is why i'm i'm once again hesitant that even if it is ready that we're going to hear it here. If we do hear it here, that means N Nintendo pulled some major strings to get the announcement first. Because didn't, didn't Microsoft front money for it? Or didn't they? Didn't they? I'd have to check, but I, I, th I thought there was like a financial attachment somehow with Microsoft uh, between the studio and whatnot for Silksong. If not financial attachment, like just like uh, supporting investment or something like that. But I'd have to check. I don't want to... I, I heard something, I think, about that, but maybe it was bull, bull crap too. <laughs> ETA, two minutes, guys. Two minutes if they're on time. Let me just make sure. Yeah, we're, we are alive. So we are live. We should be getting it any... Set. Arrow the Acrobat 3. Man, Arrow the Acrobat. That is such a throwback, man. That that honestly, I'd be into that. I was really disappointed with Tide the Tasmanian Tiger 4. They took it in a 2D direction, but although the gameplay is okay, it was so disappointing at the same time because the gameplay, like the, the actual movement in the game, feels so cheap and it feels like um like a flash game almost. That really, really, really disappointed me. You would love to see an X-Men collection similar to what they did with the Turtles. You are right. I would love to see the arcade X-Men game ported. Like even just the arcade beat-em-up X-Men playable on these consoles would be awesome. I'm actually looking at modding a um, an arcade one-up to be able to play those games. Uh, because the two-player tabletop arcade one-ups, you can actually mod it without losing the original firmware on it. Uh, I just have to find one at a decent price. For some reason, the two-player versions in Canada, non-existent everywhere. So it's like really rough to find um, here. ETA, one minute. One minute. Let's switch over, okay? We're going to switch over. Uh, 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 let's switch over so that when it does start, I can just hit that full screen button and we are good to go. There's so much Silk Song in the in the in the chat, like in the Nintendo chat, the official one. It's just insane. All it is is like, oh, here we go. So I'm gonna try to not talk over the announcements. <laughs> Sound should be coming up. Hello, everyone, and welcome to Indie World. I'm Amber. And I'm Tyler. We're back with more indie games coming to the Nintendo Switch system. All right, let's go. Yeah. Uh, what was that? Oh, I'm just prepping for our first segment. Uh-huh. Well, then, let's get going. Hey, Micah. You ready to get started? Yep. Pip's here. Hello. Um, Pip, you have a filter on. What? Oh. I don't think anybody's going to notice. Let's go. Hi, I'm Matt, director and lead developer on Little Kitty Big City. I'm Micah, the animator. And I'm Pip, the narrative designer. Little Kitty Big City is a game about exploring a weird and wonderful neighborhood as a little cat. The game idea originated when I was teaching my kids how to code. And it's grown a lot since then. But the core is still the same. It's a game about being a little cat. A little cat in a world filled with exciting distractions made by people who love dis distractions and cats. We hope you love Kitty as much as we do. Upgrading the visual quality. Sorry about that, guys. It. Yeah, and I think I had it set on, like, thing. my Look. streaming setting. Not again. You're a curious little kitty in a big city. You were taking a nap in your favorite spot, 
but you fell and now you're lost. Talk about a near catastrophe. In this adorable adventure, you'll navigate a vibrant city to find your way home. And there's plenty to do along the way. Like... It is Check Topaz, your you're right, Mr. Some Smiley. Some of the city's animals have found themselves in hairy situations. And gonna have to send a in a DM, DMCA. Uh, Maybe one of them wants something shiny. Another might be stuck in a pipe. There are also cat achievements to complete. Get petted by humans, knock things over, you know, normal cat stuff. Oh, we didn't mention kitty customization. Collect and wear over 40 pretty nifty hats, like a ladybug, a shark, and even a bunny. You can also perform emotes whenever you this want. This is oddly oh, appealing. That's a oddly big appealing. stretch. It's oh, a shite. great way to look cute while stirring up some mischief. Get ready to dig your Give closet. me a second. I'll, I'll skip the ads if they come up again. City pounces I'll be watching. Sorry about that, Grovel. Sorry about everyone who got an ad. I'll be watching. Pre-orders start today, but Big Kitty... Okay. <laughs> yeah. Why am I so interested? Same here. More. That's been kind of my deal since forever. But now... Something's changed. Looks like a Metroidvania. Inside me. Ready to break out. Atari. And fly. Kotek needs to be stopped. And I'm the one who can do it. So she's gonna throw a Kamehameha? Probably. Yars Rising. Okay, we have like no idea. Oh, okay, good. I'm like no idea of the gameplay. If you want to use my handle, which you totally should, join me on a high-stakes sci-fi action adventure in Yars Rising, the newest game from WayForward and Atari. What started as your typical hacker-for-hire gig spirals into a weird intergalactic conspiracy involving mega conglomerate Kotek. Help me run, jump, hack, and blast my way into unlocking the mysteries of this corporate empire in Yars Rising. Okay, Launch it's like ripping off Metroid Dread. This yard. <laughs> gear, gear. Sorry, I meant here. <laughs> yeah, it's gonna be a Metroidvania, and it's so ripping off like Metroid Dread with the whole robot and like stealth-ish sections. Self discovery awaits in this exploration-based adventure. Take on the role of an android, the creation of a doctor who has since passed away. Every action you take and decision you make during your journey reveals a little more about who you are. And there are no right or wrong choices. Travel to places from your memories, interact with other characters, and gradually piece together the narrative future journey the doctor envisioned for you. At the end of your journey, your personality type will be revealed. With 23 personality types to discover, you can make different choices in each playthrough and see where they lead you. Will you end up as a proactive leader? What about a wise sage? Or even a strong-willed samurai? And if you're curious about the personality types of other players, you can share your results with each other and compare your choices. I mean, if you like narrative games, I assume this is going to be very, very appealing. I'm Find wondering how long a playthrough is. In Refined Self, the personality test game. Because with 23 a different possibilities, like you can't make a game that summer. takes seven hours to finish. Well, you can, but it's like most Hi, people everyone. aren't going to play We're through once or games, twice. The developers of Sticky Business. We drew our inspirations from the small businesses and creators who Sticky saw popping business. up on social media. It's been so inspiring to see all those fantastic artists create cute stickers, assemble beautiful packages, and learn about their customers' wholesome stories. So we wanted to make a game where you can experience exactly that for yourself. It was supposed to be just a short project, just a few weeks, but then so many people liked the concept that we kept working on it. We're excited for you to play on Nintendo Switch. I'm glad we're sticking Doggle. around for the cozy sim, Sticky Business. You've got a sticker shop to run, so let your imagination run wild as you create stickers and ship them off to customers. I mean, this is going to be a cutesy, fun, relaxing game. There are over Not necessarily my thing, to but... Choose from when creating your stickers. And you can get upgrades for even more options. Wow, boba, ice cream, books, pizza, 
and raccoons? Oh, there's plenty more. And you can add effects like glitter and sparkles. So combine whatever elements and effects you want to design your artistic adhesives. But no shop is complete without its customers. Each one will ask for different stickers, and by fulfilling their requests, not only will you impress your customers, I'm a little disappointed that it's text-based only, where it's that you don't actually run a shop. You know what I mean? Like see the shop so far. So I like, I actually like business sims, but I like, you know, business sims that give a little bit more visual, visual appeal. Stories in over 100 sticker elements, including habit trackers, sticker shop, washi tape, and it's gonna frames. be a nice, cozy game. Like, it, it, the, it, the, the right person, this is gonna ever. be awesome. It's, it's just probably not me. Both the game and DLC launch as timed console exclusives on Nintendo Switch later today. Oh, first the shadow drop, game and DLC will also be available sticky business. If you're looking for explosive, calming, or mysterious journeys, we've got you <laughs> Outside of the first game, it's pretty lame. So far, let's just Check say it's been out. a little bit low-key. It's low-key ah, so far. That does it! I'm gonna find out who did this and blast them into teeny tiny little pieces! Have a blast in Anton Blast! The devil himself stole your prized spirit collection, and you're on a rampage to get it back. This I'm looking Real interested in. Mighty Hammer as Dynamite Anton. Woo! <coughs> I'm liking that movement. Or the massive mace as Dynamite Annie to lay wacky worlds to waste and beat up. Bruce now I'm interested. Losses. This is a Smash game I want. Levels like concrete jungles and slimy sewers to alter like the visual style. New areas to explore. After reaching the end of each level, fast-paced action. The detonator will start ticking yeah. down. So you've got to rush back to the beginning before Total Sega Genesis slow. vibes. Get ready for a destructively good time in Anton Blast, launching as a timed console exclusive on the Nintendo Switch system November 12th. November 12th. My birthday is November 7th, so this is like a, l a late birthday a gift. De demo available adventure. later today. In Valley Peaks. We might play As the, the demo. We might play the, the demo. Peaks, you'll climb, glide, and even use your tongue to scale the mountains, setting up radio towers so the locals can hopefully reconnect with the world. But with boulders, spikes, and other hazards in your way, the trek to the summits won't be easy. If you need a hiking hiatus, there's still plenty to do. Chat with the froggy folks and take on small side quests. Fill out stamp cards for equipment. This reminds me of um, easier. Or the little Crocs adventure, little games. little Plan little alligators Peaks. adventure. Uh, blank on, on the name, Switch but this year was an awesome game. Just it's like one of those one and done games. However. puzzle obviously a puzzle like point and click looks i would guess like you could maybe control the person directly but it feels more like a point and click little gator game thanks exactly foxy kirby love the game it, it, that one just reminded me that mountain climbing game. Lorelei and the laser eyes on May 16th. Hi, I am Elder mm -hmm. of Europa. Six years or so ago, I started working on the game in my spare time, and since then, it blossomed with the help of an amazing collective of friends, all bringing their piece of magic. It all started with the idea of using watercolor art style to evoke peaceful and zen vibes. I wanted it to be a meditative experience. Like that artwork in the back on the screen looks gameplay that's looks like a, what you might call it, uh, flow. Nino Kuni I really animation. Hope you enjoy the world that we are creating here, and I cannot wait to show it to you. Thank you so much. I oh, know, so close up is a little different. Some say similar that style. You life to Europa. If you ask me. All we did was unlock the life that was sleeping within. <laughs> My disappointment thus far is immeasurable. Europa is unbelievable, but it's not finished. 
We're trying to build something better than what we left behind. Yeah, Baldo is another. Take time. Um, you're right, Joseph. But it's the same style. That's Studio Gimli is what I was looking for. This looks fun. This looks like a sort of Breath of the Wild mini. You know what I mean? Like, obviously, it won't be whatsoever as close. This I, I could be into. Wow. If it runs like this on the Switch, then I'm into this. If anyone can decide about tomorrow, it's you. Wow, it looks beautiful. Action adventure. But I'm thinking there's no combat. It's going to be like more puzzle focused. Because we haven't seen any combat whatsoever. Europa. Demo, demo available later today. Now we're, we've got two demos. Because the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles are back on Nintendo Switch. In their very first radical roguelike adventure, Leonardo, Raphael, Donatello, and Michelangelo must travel through Turtles game, portals to and it's a roguelike. Master Splinter. With each run, you'll fend off the totally bogus Foot Clan while enhancing your abilities I have way more but hopefulness no, for this game than the one that's coming out next week. A Turtles roguelike, come on. Story. This is awesome. Four turtles, it looks like Turtles Hades. Weapons and awesome abilities. For example, Donnie's attacks have more range, but Wrath has a higher chance of dealing critical damage. After clearing nice. each room, you get to choose from a variety of turtle powers to customize It's your Hades, man. It's Turtle Hades. Devastating combos. Don't get too attached, though, because these powers reset when a run ends. More customization options await back at your sewer home, where you can Please, God, let this come out soon. You earned on your runs on permanent upgrades called Shadow artifacts. Drop today, right? Pick the turtle and artifact that best suit your preferred place. Dude, if this is a Shadow Enjoy Drop today, we are playing this. One million percent jump tonight. Online with up to three bodacious buds in co-op play. Your team of turtles can drop in and out whenever they want, making for a no press play sash. Get ready to fight the foot when Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles Splintered Oh Ball my god. At least it's only July. Nintendo Switch oh July. yeah, okay. Now Pizza hype level here. has gone up, guys. Hype level has gone up. Automatically, it's just jumped like three tiers today. Cat Quest 3. Actually, Cat Quest 2 was freaking fun. So more cat games. I get it, OPR. It's not yet for everyone. There hasn't been that everyone announcement yet. But the Turtles game, for me, at least just jumped it up a tier or two. We were looking at a D, an E. Now we're somewhere around a C to B. But they still need to close it out or it could drop back. I mean, Cat Quest 3, a lot of people are going to be excited because Cat Quest 1 and 2 were pretty decent games with 2 being far better than 1. So, a lot of people are going to be excited about this. And this could be a Shadow Draw. We're going to get Sea Warfare. I'm going to be like, this is a better pirate game than what you would call it, the one that came out from Ubisoft. The quadruple A game. Uh, oh my god. Uh, Skull and Bones. Cat Quest 3 is going to be a better pirate game than Skull and Bones. August 8. Oof, that's a while away. That's a while away. Demo available once again. So at the from Phuket Cup, I'm Jay, the Lucas Studio Art Director. And this is my amazing wife and artist, Ying. Hi there. We are part of the creative team behind Stitch, a puzzle game about handmade embroidery. It is such a blast for us to merge our shared passion for art and craft into our game, as we design a pattern called Hook. Together, we have designed over 180 hooks for Nintendo Switch version, and there are so many more to come after the game has launched. Our patterns are a fusion of personal experience and the community's idea. 
The penguin mascot is a gamified avatar of our producer Tanin. Some content categories, <laughs> like mystical creature, for example, <laughs> originated from our players. We hope you will enjoy the game. Cheesy but and cute. Happy fishing. So I, I mean, have. these people have passion for their game. You can't like. It's just <laughs> my god. <laughs> They're having fun. Oh, okay. Here's the nitty gritty on this cozy game. You'll complete puzzles called hoops to bring stunning embroidery patterns to life. Stitch together groups. Of I like the fact that this is going to be growing and that there's going to be more overlaps. stitches added. That, I exactly think that's what's actually key, interesting about this. From roller skates and teddy bears to real life locations, there are all sorts of hoops for you to needle and noodle over. Hoops come in different sizes, so you can take a quick break with smaller hoops or unwind with bigger ones that require more care. I can see this being a really like relaxing game before going to like. bed. No matter which hoop you choose, each one has the potential to offer a relaxing and calming experience that you can also enjoy with touch controls in handheld mode. After completing a hoop, you can play it again in free stitch mode and recolor it to your liking. If a hoop seems too tough, don't worry. A handy hint feature can be used at any time. You can also okay, I think the puzzle is deciding where one color ends and one, where settings. one color begins. Want more of a challenge? Try the limited time daily Shikaku puzzles. These ones don't offer any hints, so you'll really need to put your thinking cap on. Weekly hoops are also available. Each one is inspired by real life events and filled with trivia. See what I mean? So you can actually get new hoops as you go through. Which means that Plus, for if the game turns out good and you get into it, it's, it's one of those continuing community like. games. Stitch launches as a console exclusive on Nintendo Come on, Switch give us a really meaty shadow drop. A meaty one. Like, I'm not going to play this. <laughs> I'm not going to stream this. I'm not going to stream Stitch. To Nintendo Switch. This is the artsy direct. <laughs> oh, what is this? Attention once again. Sizzle Reel. I missed the name of that first game. I'm going to have to rewind after. Me Animal Love Precision Platformer It's like a Super Meat Boy but not Super Meat Boy Duck Detective The Secret Salami Looks like a point and click again Me what time is it? 10.20? Another crap treasure, man. I cannot wait. This game is only like a week away. This is going to be an exciting game. We've got time for one last announcement. Okay, here it is, guys. Here it is. Take a look. Steam World, right? Get ready to sail the spectacular seas Steam World in this long-awaited Steam World sequel. The waters of the world have turned deadly, corroding the metal limbs and mechanical hearts of its robotic denizens. Now, it's up to you to explore the great sea and discover why this once essential resource has become a nautical nightmare. Guide your ragtag crew of steam bots in tactical, turn-based shootouts in a brand new adventure. Okay, guys, Point, if you don't know SteamWorld, this is bounce. one of the best SteamWorld games. This time around, it is a 9 out of 10 in real -time tactical shooter. Combat. So this With this is actually a bigger announcement than a lot of people know. Line up your shot to blast baddies. You can even befriend steam bots along the way. Recruit them to your cause and embark on an And the last time we got together. a direct sequel, as you get to know more bots, you'll learn how your We really got a really good direct Plus, like With the new job sequel. system and in-depth character customization along with over 150 weapons, utility So I'm actually items, super excited for this one. Not pieces. like get up and you scream excited. I'm just hoping it's coming out soon. At hand.
Your Steambot's jobs and abilities depend on their equipped weapons and levels. Each different crewmate also has unique abilities that can be unlocked. Of course, you can also steal and wear your enemy's hats. So many hats! Take aim and last bots to bits when... Steamworld Heist 2 ricochets onto Nintendo August Switch 8. August 8th. It's far away. That's all for today's Indie World. We hope you enjoyed the games and today's show. This is going to be a very a deci like always, divisive indie, indie Direct. and partners for bringing their experiences to the Nintendo Switch system. Follow our official Indie World account to stay up to date on the latest news from Indie World. Okay, we're going to have to talk Until about this time, one because this is going to be gaming. a very divisive Indie Direct. It, it sort of had something for everyone, except maybe like if you're if you're into like hardcore action games, that's where this one really is maybe lacking with the closest thing being the Turtles game. The closest thing to like someone who wants like a good action game is the Turtles game. And if you're not into the Turtles, you're it's going to miss. Now, everyone should be into the Turtles, but that's where I can see. So if I'm going to be, I'm going to be from a reviewer's perspective, because I have a personal perspective, because I did get like two major announcements in this that I am super excited about, um, which is Turtles, 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 like honestly, the roguelike, roguelike Turtles, I'm just super disappointed it's not coming out today. Actually, Cat Quest 3 is a decent. More yeah, Roguelike Turtles. Okay, Roguelike Turtles, amazing. Like, just as a Turtles fan, if they deliver on this game, it is going to be amazing. Because I love Hades, I love beat em ups, I love Roguelike games. Throwing the Turtles into a good Roguelike game is going to be amazing. Yes, I am very excited about the TMNT Last Ronin movie announcement we got as well. Um, number two, I'm, I'm just, I don't, we, you really cannot downplay how SteamWorld Heist 2 is a major announcement. Look, SteamWorld games are some of the best games on the indie market. And in my opinion, SteamWorld Dig is probably their best series with SteamWorld Dig 2 being most likely the best SteamWorld game overall. And then it's followed it was followed closely behind by the first SteamWorld Heist game. So SteamWorld Heist 2, if they manage to make it if, if they manage to innovate as much as they did between SteamWorld Dig 1 and 2, already bringing an amazing concept up to the next level, we're going to get something really amazing. And if you have not tried SteamWorld Heist 1 yet, I'm telling you guys right away, it currently goes on sale between $2 and $4 on a regular basis. You have to try that game. If you've never liked a tactical shooter before, you should still maybe try it because this might switch up your mind. Not for all tactical shooters, but this one is so good done in a way where everyone can find something to love that it is definitely very good so this is a actually really really big announcement although i think it's gonna miss with a lot of people just because although the steam world games are great for everyone who knows about them i do still think they lack general appeal that shouldn't be a thing because they should have amazing general appeal. Because uh, they basically have a, a game in almost every genre. And it's actually really, really good. Now, after that, honestly, the first cat game... It reminds me of that cat game that came out on PlayStation. But done with a more cartoony art style and a more friendly approach. Because the cat game became slightly dark. Like with these robot battles in this sci-fi universe. This seems like the concept brought into like a more cozy type approach. And yes, I am going to send a DMCA because they have stolen Topaz's likeness. For anyone who is not a regular on the channel, Topaz is my cat. Who uh, is a regular star here on the on the... 
on the stream because she shows up in pretty much every stream to come and annoy me. Now she's upstairs today because it's daytime. So she's actually looking at the birds outside and, and like she's in the house, but she's in front of the windows, like watching the birds and stuff. So that's why she's not down here today. So if I want to give uh, this a rating from a reviewer perspective, like did this game have absolutely something for every, everyone I have to give it a C tier, okay? But from a personal perspective, I would give this one like a B plus because I've gotten an, a, an announcement for a Turtles game that I'm very excited about because we have the Turtles Arcade beat em up coming out next week, by the way, guys. There's a good chance that if it does, if the physical version does come into the GameStop on Tuesday the 23rd, yeah, Tuesday the 23rd, we will play it the 23rd in the evening. So if you guys want to see what the arcade beat em up is, because before buying it, wait till someone plays it because it's Game Mill has published a game. If you don't know what Game Mill is, they're the ones who published uh, the Skull Island King Kong game and the terrible, um, what you might call it, uh, Walking Dead game. So before throwing your money at them, make sure it's good. I will buy the game. I will be the guinea pig. This game, though, too looks amazing and i missed the name of it anton blast and when is this one coming out and actually we've got quite a few demos i'm wondering if the demos are available let's i'm gonna i'm gonna boot up my switch and we'll switch the screen if needed if i want to see if any of the demos are available because we've got at least four games that said they have demos available um give me a sec guys eh and i, I respect that old boy I, I respect that if you think it was a d tier i mean that that is totally your opinion and everyone you know what's great everyone's allowed to their own opinion and no one can tell you that you're right or wrong they can just say that they disagree because their opinion is different so that's all good but i've got to say that personally this was like a b-ish tier for me because there were still two really exciting games announced for me with a third that has that is very hopeful with the anton blast game and I think we have a demo for Anton Blast, which means that we will definitely uh, be trying it out if that is the case. Let me just see here. Um, they don't seem to be on the eShop yet. So the demos will most likely drop at noon. I would say it'll most likely drop at noon. So I'm going to be checking in later to see if they're available. And, you know, we will see. I don't think I'm going to stream the demos tonight. I think I rather want to do a uh, either, like I said, check if there's mega deals that drop at noon or either do a sort of condensed version of my thoughts about the direct because I'm going to watch it again. I'm going to take some notes and... You know, I'll see if I can condense this into a five-minute direct, uh, you know, video. But honestly, I think there's going to be a maybe a couple of sleepers here. It was heavy on the cozy games, though. They did a big focus on a lot of the cozy games where I think they should have done maybe a split focus on... Well, they, 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 there weren't that many. I'm looking. And they did, they did do a focus on Anton... They did do a focus on the on the uh, creepy point and click. No, so they, they 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 did the best they could. Yeah, too bad we didn't get anything on GI Joe. That I do agree, Metal Mark. I was hoping we would get a, a release date now for the GI Joe beat 'em up, and it would give us something to look forward to. But overall, like I said, I do think this is a C tier. For the right people, however, this can be a B or maybe even an A. I know I know, Mr. Smiley was throwing out like an A tier earlier, and I do get it because Mr. Smiley, man, he's a turtle fan like me. Hold on, I'm going to skip the ads that are about to pop up. No ads for you guys. <laughs> Sorry, guys, if you wanted the ads, you're not going to get them. 
but um, yeah. So no problem, Wild One. Thank you for showing up. Um, yeah, so like Turtles fans are going to be happy. Um, if you're a cozy fan, a cozy game fan, and I'm the kind of guy I don't, I'm not insanely excited about cozy games, but I do enjoy having a game that I can play before bed to wind down, which is why I said that puzzle stitch game, if it's actually fun and the puzzles get slightly challenging, it could be one of those. But um, yeah, th those are my thoughts overall. I think I'm going to leave it there for now. Uh, and we're going to wind this down. That way I'm going to have more time to go get my crap done. And I'll have maybe even more time to start working on um, one of the two videos that I would like to do. So who knows that I might be able to get it out if everything comes together super quick. But, uh, you know, I'm not going to promise that. Most likely I'm going to be working on stuff tonight. But hey, thank you everyone for showing up. It was super appreciated to watch this with all of you. Hey, Ricardo. Yeah, Cat Quest 3. Honestly, TMNT and Cat Quest 3, like I said, those are good announcements. And SteamWorld Heist is extremely big announcement. Only problem is it's in August. So it's still a little bit far off to be super excited about. But TMNT is July. It's two months away. We're, 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 it's it's going to be good. Okay. Anyway, guys, I'm going to get going. Thank you all for showing up. Thank you for accompanying me on watching this Indie World Showcase. It's so much more fun to watch it with all of you than alone. But you know what? I hope I'll see all of you, as usual, in my next video. And see you all later.